In this tutorial, we'll look at the Manage Inventory page when it's set to the eBay mode. Setting the Manage Inventory page to eBay mode will enable you to perform many actions specifically related to eBay, including editing eBay attributes in bulk and revising listings on eBay. On the Manage Inventory page, open the Advanced Search tab. Locate the Mode fields at the top right and select eBay. Now click the Search button. The eBay mode will display in the Filters Applied area. The Inventory grid will now display many fields related to the product's eBay properties, including the eBay category, eBay condition, store category, buy it now and start prices, the fixed price quantity, top title, and the shipping and description templates. You can use the eBay filters to narrow the inventory search to groups of products. For example, you can select products that are not active on eBay, edit their attributes to make them ready, and then post them to eBay. Open the Action menu. This group of actions relate to the eBay details. If you would like to edit eBay details from within the grid, select Edit eBay Details. This action opens up the eBay-related fields on the grid. Now you can enter a category in this text box or select one by clicking on the Select link. eBay conditions and store categories can be selected from their dropdowns. You can edit the Buy It Now and Star prices as well as the fixed price quantity. The top title can be edited, and the shipping and description templates can be selected from their dropdowns. This is a quick way of reviewing eBay properties on multiple products and editing them individually. To edit multiple products together and apply similar values to them, select the products you want to edit and click Bulk Edit from the Action menu. On the following page, a grid will display all the products you selected for editing. Below the grid are eBay Properties fields that can be bulk edited. After editing the appropriate properties, make sure to select the fields you will be editing and to uncheck the remaining blank fields if the blank fields remain checked, those attributes will be blinked out on the products during the update. Now click Update. When bulk editing more than 10 products, the edit will be entered into a queue job. To bulk edit multiple products together and apply differing values using an Excel spreadsheet, use the Bulk Update Products function on the Inventory page. This feature is the subject of another video tutorial. The other actions in this group pertain to revising information on eBay. For example, after editing a price, select the products and click Revise Price on eBay. If the HTML description template or the shipping price template were changed, click on those actions in the Action menu. If multiple properties were edited, click Revise on eBay. Revising price and inventory are only necessary if you want to revise the listing immediately. Otherwise, the listing will update in the next automatic feed. All other revisions need to be updated manually with these actions. The action Export eBay Category Suggestions is a valuable tool in determining to which eBay category the product belongs, based on keywords. To learn more about this action, please watch the eBay Suggested Categories video tutorial. For more information on eBay mode, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.